Hello, welcome back to another lesson of this course. We've been working with Edge Detector for last three lessons. In this lesson, we're going to do the same thing. However, this time we will detect edges from videos. What we're going to do is we will access the webcam. We'll keep capturing video frames. Then we will apply the Roberts, Privet and Sobel Edge Detector on every frame and will show the result simultaneously on a single figure. At the very beginning, write clear all to release all allocated memories. Then write webcam to access the webcam and store this object in a variable named cam. To faster the image processing, we should reduce the resolution of the camera feed. To find out the resolution of your camera, type webcam in the command window. You will find all relevant information about your current webcam. Instead of these pieces of information, if you see an error message, that means you do not have the USB webcam support package installed in your MATLAB. Install the support package and everything will work properly. My webcam supports this resolution. So I'm going to pick this one. To reduce the resolution, type cam, then write dot, then write resolution. And I'm going to set the resolution to 320 by 240. Then take a figure object and store it in a variable named H. Then initiate a while loop. This loop will keep running as long as there is something to show in this figure object. And we find out if there is anything to show in the figure object using isHandle function. If we have frames from the webcam, this function will be true and the while loop will keep running. And if there is no frame received from the webcam, this function will return false and thus the loop will be terminated. We need to read every frame from the webcam. We do it using snapshot function. This function takes this webcam object as input argument and it returns a single snapshot from the webcam. Let's store the snapshot in a variable named i. In order to extract the edges of this image, we have to convert it to a grayscale image. To do that, we use RGB to gray function and it will take this image as the input argument and it will return a grayscale image. Let's store the grayscale image in a variable G. So we have the grayscale image now. Therefore, we can apply Roberts, Prewet and Sobel Edge Detector on this image. To apply these filters, use Edge function. The first argument of this function is the image from where we want to extract the edge. And the second argument is the filter we want to use to extract the edge. The first filter is going to be the Sobel filter and this function will return the extracted edges. Let's store it in a variable named s. Then copy this line and paste it here. This time we want to use the Roberts filter. So write Roberts here and change the variable name. Let's call it r. Paste the same line for once again. This time we want to use the private filter and store it in a variable named p. Now we have the edges detected using Roberts, Privet 
and Sobo Edge Detector. I want to show these three edges and the original image on the same figure. We can use subplot to do that. Write subplot. We have four results to show. That is why take a 2x2 two two grid. Here, this 2x2 two two grid means there will be four elements in the subplot. Then write 1 here. It means the first element of the subplot. Then use imshow function to show the original image which is stored in this i variable. And give it a title that says original image. Then copy this line and paste it here. This time change this 1 to 2. This 2 means we will show the image in the second element now. In the second element, I want to show the Sobo edges. So write S here and change the title to Sobo edges. Copy this line and paste it here. Change the location of the element to 3. That means we are targeting the third element. And I want to show the Robert edges here. Change the title to Robert's edges. Copy this line and paste it again. This time we will show the result on the fourth location and we want to show the Privet edges. And change the title to Privet edges. Finally, use the draw now function to draw the images and end the while loop. Let's run the program and see what happens. We can see this is the original image. These are the shovel edges. These are Robert's edges and these are pre-wet edges. This is how you can extract edges from video using Sobel, Roberts or Privet Edge Detector. If you find my video helpful, please subscribe my channel, hit the like button and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching.